play Hero of the Rails. It was a beautiful summer's day on Sodor. Thomas was enjoying the quiet sunshine when suddenly, all over the island, there was not a moment's peace. It could only mean one thing. Spencer had arrived. Thomas told Spencer he didn't need to be so loud. But Spencer just laughed and said only slow engines were quiet. He challenged Thomas to a race, starting from the shunting yard. Help Thomas travel to the shunting yard. Go! Thomas and Spencer were loaded with heavy trucks. When they were both ready, the race began. Can you help Thomas beat Spencer? Three, two, one, go! Oh no, Thomas's brakes had broken. Faster and faster he went, into a flatbed of jam crates. On and on he goes, onto an old overgrown track. Finally he stopped, covered in muck, branches and sticky jam. Then he heard a voice. It was an old and rusty engine he'd never seen before. His name was Hero. His home was an island far away where they called him Master of the Railway. He had come to Sodor a long time ago, but had broken down and been left on this line and forgotten. He was worried that if the fat controller found him broken down, he would be sent to the smelter's yard. Thomas promised his new friend that he would find parts and make him a really useful engine again. So Thomas returned to the steamworks to get fixed and cleaned up. Can you give Thomas a good wash? Wash. Spray. Dry. work. That night, Thomas told the other engines about his new friend. They all agreed to help Hero. At the steamworks, Thomas saw an old piston. Victor said he could take it. Thomas went straight to Hero. His driver and fireman went to fix on the new part. Can you place the new part on Hero? Fix. Weld. Great work. Percy kindly agreed to do some of Thomas's work so Thomas could find some more parts for Hero. Percy knew that he had to be very careful not to let Spencer find out about Hero or he would try to get him scrapped. Help Percy to deliver Thomas's trucks. Go! Oh dear! Percy popped a valve while pulling Thomas's heavy load. Thomas helped him back to the steamworks. Now Percy needed a new part too. Can you find the parts to fix Percy? Three, two, one, go!
fantastic! Percy was soon fixed, and Thomas told Victor about Hero. Victor told them he had more parts they could use, if only they could carry them to his hiding place. The fat controller was puzzled why the engines were carrying the wrong trucks, but as long as the work was done, he didn't mind. Percy was right to worry about Spencer. He knew Thomas was up to something and started watching his every move. Thomas couldn't visit Hero without Spencer noticing. But he had an idea. He could ask Percy to take the next part to Hero, but first, they both had to race away from Spencer so he wouldn't hear their plan. Can you help Percy go really fast? Go! Percy collected the part and took it to Hero. He was amazed by the old engine. Hero was very pleased to meet Thomas's best friend. Can you place the new part on Hero? Fix. Well. Great work. Spencer tried to find out what Thomas was up to by asking Emily, but she wouldn't speak to him until she'd finished her shunting. Move Emily so the truck rolls to a stop in the right place. Shunt. While Spencer was distracted, Thomas collected the next part for Hero. Suddenly, Spencer appeared nearby. Luckily, Mavis saw him first and distracted him with a game. Three, two, one, go! Snap! After the game, Mavis took Spencer on a tour of the quarry. It was a very dirty place. Slate and dust flew down his funnel and bounced off his boiler. He was so messy. He had to return to the steamworks to get fixed, and Thomas and Percy could spend the rest of the day helping Hero. After his quarry visit, Spencer was so battered that he needed a new coat of shiny silver paint. Paint. Polish. But it wasn't long before he was a splendid silver engine again and set out to find Thomas. Help Spencer look around the island. Go!
Spencer looked around and tried to work out what all the engines were doing. Match the pictures of the engines to find some clues. Match. Spencer was getting nearer to Hero's hiding place. Luckily, James and Toby were with Hero. James thought he could chase Spencer away. Quickly, help James chase Spencer away. Go! With Spencer heading in the wrong direction, Hero's hiding place was safe. With most of his parts repaired, Hero was feeling much better. It was time for a test run. While they waited for Hero's steam to build up, the friends played a quick game. Three, two, one, go! Snap! 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 With enough steam in his boiler, Hero and Thomas set out for a test run on the main line. Help Hero take his first test run. Go! Oh no! Thomas and Hero heard Spencer coming. Hero tried to go as fast as he could, but it was no good. Spencer quickly caught up with them. As Hero tried to go faster, the new parts began to fall off. Hero was breaking down again. Spencer called him a scrap engine. Thomas worried that Spencer would tell the fat controller. Suddenly, Gordon steamed past and called Spencer a slow coach. Spencer couldn't resist the challenge. Can you help Gordon beat Spencer? Three, two, one, go! Standing at the station was the Fat Controller. Before Spencer could say anything, the Fat Controller told him off for racing and sent him back to work. Thomas hid Hero in a siding and promised to come and see him as soon as he finished his work. 
Thomas had to finish his shunting before he could return to Hero, but he did it as quickly as possible. Shunt. Bad luck. With his work finished, Thomas could finally go and check up on Hero. Help Thomas back to see Hero. Go! Hero was not feeling at all well. Going so fast had caused many of his new parts to fail. Thomas decided that he would have to convince the fat controller to fix Hero. But now Spencer had finished his work too. He was going to tell the fat controller that Hero should be scrapped. Who would tell their story to the fat controller first? Will Thomas beat Spencer this time? Three, two, one, go! couldn't support Spencer's weight. With a mighty splash, Spencer slid into the mud. Thomas arrived at Knapford Station, where he nervously told the fat controller about Hero. He begged him not to send him to the smelter's yard. The fat controller was amazed and surprised that Thomas would even think he would scrap Hero. He called him master of the railway, and ordered him to be fixed straight away. Thomas and Percy helped Hero to the steamworks. Everyone had a good look to find all the parts they needed to fix him completely. Can you find the new parts for Hero? Three, two, one, go! With all the parts sorted, it was time to fix Hero. Fix. Weld. Great work. The engines gasped. Hero looked as good as new. But he couldn't stop to admire his new parts. He had a job to do. Using all his strength, Hero rescued Spencer from the mud and pulled him back to the steamworks. Can you give Spencer a good wash? Wash. Spray. Fantastic! Spencer was so grateful that Thomas and Hero had helped him that he said sorry 
and promise to be a good friend from now on. Hero was enjoying being a really useful engine, but he still felt sad. He missed his home. That night, Thomas told the fat controller that Hero was homesick. He agreed that if it would make him happy, Hero could go home. He also said that for rescuing Hero, Thomas could have a fresh coat of paint. Can you give Thomas his well-deserved new coat of paint? Paint. Polish. Fantastic! All too soon, it was time for Hero to go home. He steamed around Sodor one last time, remembering all the places he'd been and friends he'd made. Can you take Hero for his last journey around Sodor? Go! engines gathered at the docks to say goodbye. Thomas and Hero didn't know when they would meet again, but they knew they would never forget each other. The end. Subscribe for more content.